Losing your wallet these days can quickly sink you into the chaotic world of identity theft. We've seen it time and time again, most recently in the national scare caused by all those stolen identities, many of them right here, by a company called Choice Point. But what if your credit card, driver's license, even your medical records were hidden under your skin? The Jennifer Ryan shows us everyone from Alzheimer's patients to secret agents may someday get their very own barcode. Just like the barcode on a can of tomatoes, reduced to a number in a fraction of a second, and linked to a computer database, people are voluntarily being barcoded. The number stored within a tiny glass chip the size of a grain of rice and surgically implanted just under the skin. There's no scars, there's nothing. A lot of people think it is a tracking device that they can actually GPS their kids and they can find out where they're at at all times. And I tell them that's not what this device is all about. What it is, is a VeriChip, a radio frequency ID tag by a company called Applied Digital, loaded with whatever personal information you choose. Social security number, name, insurance information, address, correct medication, contact position. The possibilities are endless. Exclusive nightclubs in Europe allow patrons to run a bar tab, their credit card number accessed through the chip embedded in the back of their arm. This is a passive uh, RFID chip, meaning that it has no power supply in it. A special reader has to be within a few inches to get your 16-digit number. To access your computer file, a password is needed. Verichip is about to give 200 American hospitals chip readers because the chips are only useful if they can be scanned. It's a number, you know, different than your credit card, your social security number, or maybe your driver's license. Humans can be tracked just like your pets. The first chips are put inside dogs and cats. Now 70,000 shelters and veterinarians in America can scan a lost or injured pet and find the owner in seconds. Do you have one? No. <laughs> Any interest in possibly getting one one day? Not yet. In it's fact, Verichip has yet to land its first domestic circuit. account. These Defense Department contractors in Virginia hope they'll be the first. They foresee implanting them in our military to help locate next of kin or to gain access to top secret information. Oh, right now you can be tracked by using your cell phone. Maybe it's fear of the unknown or a sort of techno paranoia about Big Brother or a crafty hacker. Unlike uh, your fingerprints or your iris scans, which once you give, you can never get back, that a Verichip can be removed and therefore the link is broken. Like the now familiar product barcode, hearings on the Hill suggest human barcodes are the future. And to think 30 years ago, Maryland lawmakers tried to outlaw this technology. Today, your groceries. Tomorrow, maybe you. Jennifer Ryan, 9 News. Bear Chips Maker says no one would ever be forced to get a chip. In fact, the individual is responsible for entering or deleting whatever information he types into his own file. As for hackers, an obvious question. The company says there are several security barriers, but no computer system, of course.